all right now i am in the google drive so now let's see how to open the collab and load the our time series data into it so as you can see let's look into the data first before doing all these things let's go to the data and we are having the two kinds of data with us one is excel file and second one is csv file so in this lecture we will try to understand and do the analysis for this sales data and if you can open and look into the data there are two sheets are there one is sheet number 1 and second one is sheet number 2 sheet number 2 is much more uh, expanded version of that where you can see the years column and the sales column means each and every month what is the sales that is being happened and everything is being recorded so typically any time series data will looks like an year column and could be any kind of interest or could be sales and could be the stock market price or anything now let's see how to load our google collab and do all our stuff in python so let's go back now what i'll do i'll right click here and click more and there we can see the google collaboratory so click on google collaboratory it will take some time to get loaded all right now i have uh, successfully opened my google collab now we can see that by default the name of my google laboratory notebook is untitled zero and that is being saved here so first thing what i'll do i will change the name so what i'll do here is visualize i'll just make a name of visualizing time series data time series data okay the step number one what you need to do is that you need to connect to the runtime so for the better performance what i will do i will connect to my gpu so you can see that runtime and change runtime and as you can see there are the hardware accelerator is there what i'm going to do is that i'm going to connect to my or to the google gpu so click on gpu and save and now what you need to do don't forget to click on connect and just click on the connect here it will take a couple of seconds to get connected wait until you get your connection has been successful yes now i have been connected successfully and you can see the details of my ram and etc so the next step what i need to do here is that i need to set the path means i need to set my the path so currently my path is in my drive and complete time series so what i'll do let's see how to set the path here now at the now at the left left side you can see there is a files option is there click on the files and here you can see that your current working directory okay at the moment there is nothing files is being there so what i need to do is that I need to write some code to get connected all my files so let's do that please so first import os and from google.collab import drive and drive dot mount just type drive and execute the statement shift plus enter to execute it now as you can see you can see one uh, url over there so just click on that url so if you click on that url it will ask you for the uh, what kind of uh, mail id currently i'm working on free ai time series so what i'll do i'll click on the free ai time series and click on hello so this is what i'm going to be have with me and i'm just copy it and paste it into the google authentication code so enter and execute it will take for a few seconds to execute it okay perfect now it has my now i have successfully mounted my drive perfect so now what i will do i'll refresh my files here so if you reflect refresh my files you can see one drive has been created and you just expand this drive okay what i can see here is my drive and again expand it you can see the what are the folders that was there in the my drive so currently i was in the complete time series folder so click on the time please time series folder and i was in my drive so what i'll do i'll right click it and copy the path now what i'll do now i will 
set the path set the current working directory or set the path current path so what i'll do here so i will set the path using the os dot ch dir now what i'll do i will set the path so one thing you need to do is that just remove the content here copy and you paste it you remove the content now that's it and execute it perfect now you can type ls command to just verify whether you are in the current working directory or not yes some i am i am in the current working directory as you can see in the directory i am having the data and the file that i was working on is visualizing the time series data so let's look in the data to verify once again yes i'm having the sales and the uh, ny births folder or files are there with me correct so that's it guys this is how i need to set the path in the next video we will see how to load the data and do the and do some visualizations hey guys thanks for watching this video in the upcoming videos we are going to watch about the powerful visualizations on time series data like area plot bar plot heat maps etc so we are going to see all those things in this upcoming videos please find the description for the urls below on the visualizations on time series data and don't forget to subscribe our channel data science anywhere for more videos and projects on data science thank you very much and happy learning